Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another World of Tanks replay with your host, Great Taz. Now let's get this battle on the road in 3, 2, 1, roll out. Hello everyone, Great Taz here once again with another World of Tanks replay and I'm going to try to start doing this little thing here called uh, Watt Wednesday. I'm going to try to put out a video, uh, whether it is of myself and or a replay that someone has submitted to me every Wednesday. Uh, this may not pan out 100% as well as I would like, due for the simple fact I don't play World of Tanks as much as I used to. And a lot of the people I used to get replays from have also decided they're done with World of Tanks or they play it a lot less. So, anyways, I am playing, this replay is of myself. This is a tier 8 tank called the SU-130PM. It is a premium, really I call it, considered it a reward tank. It is one of the challenge tanks, all right? The only way to have gotten this tank originally was due through its own challenge. As you can see here, we are on Mountain Pass, and right there you can see the damage potential of this gun. But, to tell you the simple fact, excluding Army, this, our Arty, this is not the most powerful gun at Tier 8. Uh, we will see that in another replay. Uh, may have already seen it in another print. This is a 130 millimeter cannon on this. Basically, it's the same gun that you will find, roughly the same gun you will find on the IS-7 and its tier 7 counterparts that also carry a 130 millimeter cannon. All right. So, but anyways, uh, as you can see here, we are waiting to see what will happen i'm trying here to get the the lt432 to actually move up and spot the su-130 pm on the enemy team uh, as you can see already i do use um uh, a lot in in the game and also after um the whole uh for replays and stuff i use uh xvm is just to see um i use it to see uh, what quality of player is and now as you can see this is after 1.7 came out and you can see there are a couple people on here that have chosen to use the the re-anonymizer a lot of people have not still i've seen multiple games where uh there's only one or two people and it it really doesn't i think the addition of it doesn't really affect as much on the north american server as it may be in uh, on the European or maybe even the Russian servers. So, as you can see here, I'm moving up along on the bridge. There, we got a shot at the Udez, and we're going to do some damage to him. Unfortunately, we leave him with 53 hit points. Would have liked to have been able to take him completely out. And there comes the SU-130 PM, taking a shot in the LT. Now, the LT can easily take out the 130 PM if it pays attention. There is the Emil-1. We know where he last was, so we're going to take a quick pop shot at him and hopefully hit him. No clue. There's the teeth. LT-432 finally taking out the enemy uh, at 1.30 p.m. Now, with both sides of the bridge kind of clear here, we're going to pull forward and auto-lock and do some quick fires, uh, pull forward and shots. Now, I do realize at this point in time that the Patriot, that's what I'm going to call it, the the basic skin Patriot is right around the corner as it shoots at the 28. Gonna auto lock it, turn around, and take it out of the game. All right. I'm also in this with a friend of mine, uh, Lurpy, who actually has a Twitch channel also. So if you'd like to find, follow him on Twitch, uh, that would be awesome. I will put the link in the description to Lurpy's Twitch. He does stream most nights, uh, and he's a really decent player. Uh, he's better than I am. Uh, he, for a while, he was playing one-handed due to surgery on one of his shoulders, and he was doing probably as well, if not better, than I was doing with two hands. But anyways, as you can see there, we cleared out this rope. Uh, I'm hoping the LT-432 at this point in time actually goes after artillery. He does not. He completely ignores artillery, so I decide 
to start with the other three, um, the other two guys coming up from the ice road to head down towards and take out artillery. All right, so there, the uh, two guys down on the ice road line came up and spotted the, uh, the GW there, uh, the DGW Tiger P, and then finally take him out. Not sure who, the renegade took him out. All right, as I see that, I'm still not quite 100% sure where the other artillery pieces is, so I'm doing a recon search. Now, you can get some good camouflage on your artillery, considering you can put a camouflage skill on your crew members. You can put um, also put, you know, camouflage net. And then if you add on directives for camouflage, that makes it even harder. So already can be somewhat hard to detect, and especially with a tank that doesn't have the greatest view range and maybe even a crew with view so i realize at this point it's not down in the bushes he's probably up here on the hill so that's what i start doing i start going up on the hill now as i go up here on the hill i'm not quite sure what i'm going to run into and uh, now again i did play this game so i know what's going on there the already shoots not quite sure what he shoots at but he does fire down below and misses me and then I get a sh take and a shot from my own team, which is a Panther. I mean, at this point, he has 10 hit points. There's no sense in not to try to take him out, even with a ram, and save the round for something that's going to be more effective. Now, I stay up here on the hill to help defend the Renegade and the Panther 2 from any enemies coming on. And there we have the Centurion 5-1. Now, the Centurion 5-1 spots the artillery and ignores everything else. So that gives me the chance to peek over the hill and go ahead and take out the uh, the Centurion 5-1. Now I do take a shot here from the Chrysler K, not worried about it, it's a single shot, I can take it, and I got the AMX M449 already auto-targeted, so I take it out. Now, I don't have the Chrysler K spotted anymore, not quite sure why, considering, you know, he's still right there. Here comes the Renegade, and there goes the Artie. Now, I get aim in at the Chrysler K, and I, in all determination, determined to punish this guy and I keep I fire at him and I do damage him I'm going to continue to fire at him. he gets below where my aim circle is I fire a little faster than I probably should have and uh, I come up with a bounce all right so overall it was a good battle and a fun battle and I love playing with my uh, compatriot Lurpy there so with all that, it's it's a really fun. Sometimes I have fun. Sometimes I get really irritated, and that's kind of why I can uh, received somewhat of a nickname of Taz is because I can spaz out with, you know, sometimes no warning and get really irritated. And I do, in turn, have a somewhat of an issue with my anger. But anyways, here I am rambling. So let's go ahead. I have uploaded this onto what or records dot com. And here we go. So I only came out with an ace tanker this game, and that was with the 1236. Now, as you can tell, this tank must be played a lot for a 1236, a 1200 plus on the North American server, only to get a first class. Now, I don't know exactly where the ace tanker line is, but I'm not willing to bet it. it's not much more than 1250 or 1300. I was just falling short, and now if I would have got that Chrysler K kill, and damage of the last shot, I would have got more experience. Unfortunately, I did not. All right, I also come out with Sharpshooter, Fighter, Master Gunner, and Fire for Effect, which, like I said, multiple videos, is like the easiest ribbon to come out with. Just for the simple fact, you have to cause more damage than you hit points of your vehicle, and your, some tanks can do that in one shot, uh, KV-2. So... I got one bond, and that comes from high caliber, and my high caliber is from the 4,257, which almost doubles anybody else on either team. Now, it doesn't quite, uh, 2,100 would be, less than 2,100 would be double, so there are four people that are within, you know, 50%, but overall, it is what it is. All right, now, let's go ahead and move on to the next stain here. I did fire 10 shots. Every one of them hit, and only one didn't pen, and that was that last shot that everyone saw that was on the Chrysler K. Just a, just a unfortunate fast. I wanted to kill. I went faster than I probably should have, and if I would have waited an extra second, I probably would have got a good shot and got the kill. 
but 4,257, as we already know, 543 was from 300 beyond 300 meters. I received one hit. That was from the Chrysler K, and it did penetrate me. Of course, this tank has zero, or literally zero armor, but I'll tell you another note on that in a second. Once I get through this, nine vehicles damaged, four destroyed, uh, and over got set 478 uh, two uh, kilometers removed. Now this was a is a premium vehicle, so it's considered a premium vehicle, even though it's more like a reward vehicle. Uh, you got seventy seven thousand plus another seven thousand for rewards for missions, events, and or pers personal reserves. So eighty four thousand, only two thousand repair. All premium vehicles are cheaper to repair. No premium ammo was fired, so I only got twelve uh, one fifty spent. So I come out with 70K, which is really good credit-wise. Okay, here's my one bomb. Now, it was 1236 base experience, like I said before. Got bonuses for rewards and missions of almost 10,000 again. So, you know, that's really big. But uh, 82 because it's a premium vehicle also. And overall, that gives me over 11K uh, experience. Now, this is all going into crew training for my tier 10 Russian TDs, right? Okay, so back to what I was trying to say. The uh, the SU-130 PM literally has zero armor. Uh, the armor is very minimum. Uh, one day I was playing my ISU-152. Came up face on into this thing with a HE round to do the maximum damage because I knew the HE round could uh, penetrate the turret because the turret is considered zero armor so it's an easy mirror come up come around the corner shoot it and i do 56 damage with an he round at point blank range the he penetration mechanics need to be worked but they're going to screw it over if they continue on with the he way they have set it up they're gonna kill things like the K, the KV-2, the 183s, and anything that has a big dirt potential but has low penetration. Oh, that also goes for the T-49. So overall, uh, I did have fun with this game uh, and everything else. All right, done with my ramble, and we're going to just get on out of here. But before we do, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click that like button. And if you liked... Uh, the replay too, you could also join, go over to uh, Watt Records, link in the description, and give me a like or dislike over here. With that being said, if you're not a subscriber and like receiving these and seeing these videos, please go ahead and click that subscription button, change, and then click the notification bell from occasional to always to make sure you get instant notification of all my new uploads. With all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I am getting out of here. This is Great Taz. I am signing off, and we'll see you on the battlefield.